Livingstone College. Head coach Daryl Williams and half of a combination you'll probably hear a lot about statistically. One half being Drew Powell, the other half being Jalen Hendricks. Hey, Coach, back here in the back. There you go. Uh, HSRN, Jay Bell with HSRN. Okay, um, you guys are starting off. Livingstone is on the rise. You're coming off a great CIAA season with the basketball team. What are some of your goals that you have for this? from uh, Dr. Jenkins and uh, Dr. State Alexander are, are with you guys. What are some of your goals for the 2015 uh, season? First and foremost, we got to do a better job of uh, taking care of the football. I think we're um, uh, the first or second in turnovers in, in the conference, and we can't get it done. Um, we're second on off- offense in the conference, but as much as we turn the ball over, I think we had 32 turnovers. That's the, that's the biggest thing that uh, we need to address. We're not going to really worry about anybody else's team. Um, no disrespect to any opponent that we're playing. We just want to take care of the football better and try to finish games off. Good morning, Coach. Creighton Rams from Herald Sports. Uh, Coach, first of all, uh, talk about some of the so, – I mean, obviously, you, you look back to last year. How do you look to build upon the momentum you had from last year? Um, like I said earlier, our, our biggest issue is us. Um, that's one thing that I had a chance to, to, to take a good time off of football for the first time this this past summer to reevaluate the part that I played in, in, in each and every game. The thing I think we, we're we going to focus on more is not turning the football over. That's our biggest problem. You know, we uh, – uh, no disrespect to any team. We had some teams beat, but we gave a couple games away that we should have won. Uh, but that comes from having a young football team not being together very long. Ultimately, it's my, my fault. I take full responsibility um, for us turning the football over. Now, talk about some of the players on defense who you look who look to uh, have an impact this year. Uh, we have Eric Horn, who's on the defensive line, did a good job for us. We have uh, Hilden Bush um, in the secondary. But basically, we're, we're looking to um, – we're bringing in 27 new football players. The majority of them are, are, are junior college players filling in for our defense. So we should have a, a, a whole new defensive line, whole new uh, um, linebacker core. That's where we're going to tighten up our, our football team uh, for us tackling better and not turning the football over. Um, last, my last question, I'll, I'll address it really both to Drew and Jalen. I'll start with Drew. Talk about some some of your key returnees and some of the new guys on offense who – who you think are going to really step up big this year. And then after you're done, Drew, I'll let Jalen uh, chip in. Um, well, you know, we have uh, Jalen Hendricks speaks for himself. Um, Anthony Green at running back, um, looking at for big things. Um, all, mostly the whole offensive line is coming back. Uh, we got those guys that's going to make a huge impact in uh, keeping me protected in the run game. Um, A.J. Bowden, that receiver, and uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. Um, we have a, a transfer, Gerard, I mean, Jarius Richardson and Coach Drew. The O-line is coming back, and we have some players that are now eligible that wasn't last year. This is uh, Stephen Gaither. i got a question for Drew. Uh, you have been a uh, starter at Livingstone since you've been a freshman. Uh, you're coming up now. Um, just talk about how you've seen uh, Livingstone football evolve um, from, you know, you know, the, a rough start to a team last year where, you know, you guys look like you were going to be able to, to make that run at the Southern Division. Just talk about how the program has evolved and how you've evolved within that. I mean, um, when I got – before I got there, I, we were 1-9. and nine. Uh, We've won more games than the la- previous year. Every year I've been there, like you said, we uh, stepping up. Just just everything about the uh, program has been a lot better, you know, uh, from – from everything, you know, it's just a, a different vibe around the team. It feel like we, we actually have something. We actually able to do something instead of guys just, you know, going into the season, not really expecting anything out of themselves. Guys expect to win now and expect to do big things. Uh, also myself and, you know, we're not satisfied with the last season. We're going to uh, come out strong and try to take over. Yeah, Coach Reggie House Sports Talk. Coach, can you talk a little bit about some of the key games that you see coming up that you have to make a statement in order to be in the hunt? Well, every every ball game is a key football game for us. Um, we're not going to take anybody lightly, but 
my main concern of, of is our football team is making sure Drew protect the football, making sure we get off the football field on third down. Uh, like I said, it's no disrespect to any, any other team. All the teams in the conference are good. Um, our non-conference opponents are, are, are good also. But I'm more concerned with our football team because um, – only one game we really, we really didn't perform up to our expectation. That was the Elizabeth City game. Every other game, I felt that we had a, a, a 85, 90 percent chance of winning. Um, so, like I said, I, just, I really want to focus on our football team, making sure our coaches coach the little things and be detailed. And um, the thing that we're going to focus on is, is uh, making sure our players have a why. Why you play the game? What's your passion? And who you playing the game for? So you know, when I took a little time off, that's that's one thing I. Uh, and coach, to follow up, you say you have freshmen and JUCOs coming in. What kind of support staff do you have from the alumni as well as the football program? Like, do you have speakers come in? Uh, what what kind of support do you have for the players? Well, we have a. a, a, a a good administration that supports everything that we are that we're doing. Um, they've constantly and consistently put money into the program with more scholarships and more uh, funding for the team, giving us every means to to do what we need to do to put a product on the football field. And um, what we're trying to create is, is tradition because tradition doesn't graduate; it just rolls over. Um, but with that being said, you've got to have money to fund the program. And, and we're not looking for a one-hit wonder. We want to be consistent year in and year out. But we get excellent support um, from our, our, our alumni base. But I, I don't believe in having too many people come in um, to speak to your team because you never know, you know, and that sort of thing. Right. To Mr. Powell and to Mr. Hendricks, talk about your experience at um, Livingstone. Um, Livingstone has been a... Uh a blessing, really, you know, to be able to come in as a 17-year-old freshman and start, uh, get a start right away and just have the experience of playing in, you know, 30-plus football games. You know, that's just, just that there, you know, can keep a, keep me going and being able to be a leader for my teammates is, is all put in perspective. Mr. Hendricks. Coming in as a freshman, we were 1-9 and nine then. Each year we progress and get better every year. So it's a great feeling to just – Get Livingstone back, like on the right track. Thanks, sir. It's here to work with on the offensive side of the ball. What type of combination will they provide for the field? Well, first and foremost, they are, they are two outstanding uh, young men. The first conversation I had with Drew um, when he came to the campus, it wasn't about football because um, it was about get, making sure you get his academics and that sort of thing. Um, most of you guys don't know, going into last spring, uh, I said all the way up until like two days before spring football practice because uh, we had some academic issues that we had to take care of. So Jalen comes to me and says, hey, coach, uh, we're not getting any better because I put him at quarterback because they're buddies. So I figure if he don't go to class, you're going to play quarterback. So um, I said, Jalen, you go to what he's doing. We'll let, I'll let him come back out. So Jalen made sure he does what he, he's ever on and off the football field. I can't say enough about about these guys. But uh, one more quick story. We was playing Shaw, and the game was coming down to the end. And Jalen is soft-spoken and quiet, and he tells you real loud to hold on to the football. You know, hold on to the football. So I, I, I knew uh, we've come a long way. So I, I had to say anything. He told him, make sure you hold on to the football. So, you know, these guys are, are, are great to coach. And, and Jalen, when um, he dropped three balls, and I said, you hadn't dropped that many since you've been here. You know, there's something wrong. There's anything wrong. But like I said, these guys are great to coach. They have practice. They're on track to graduate. And, and that's my proudest thing. That, you know, they're going to graduate. And, Drew Harpoint, the Charlotte Post. Uh, physically, you look like you've dedicated yourself to uh, improving there, too. Talk a little bit about the offseason and uh, how you want to improve, not only with hanging on to the ball, but also physically, you look like you're a bit more svelte. That's uh, I appreciate it. But, um, you know, physically, uh, definitely been been trying to, you know, go hard and, and uh, try to tone up a little bit because I feel like some of the turnovers that coaches talk about was when I was tired, you know what I'm saying, and when I had, you know, gave my all, but I still, I still had more to go. So I, I focused on, you know, keep pushing myself, keep pushing myself because I'm ultimately going to be the one with the ball in my hand every play. So I got to, you know, focus in and be able to keep going and hold on to the rock when, when it's crunch time. I don't know how to work the microphone, but Ashley Mahoney, Charlotte Post, for Drew and for Jalen, 
Coach, you talked about the why, how important that is for these players. What are what is the why for each of you? Well, I just want to better myself every day, just strive to be the best I can be. Um, my why would be you know, just motivating my teammates and uh, trying to be the best leader I can be. You know, my why would be exa- be an example for every every other player on that field. You know, just showing them that it can be done and just follow me and uh, you know trying to get them to do it the right way, and so we can have a successful season.